Mysterious new Ukrainian drone missile Palyanitsia is targeting the Russian Air Force. As Russia ramps up its drone and long-range missile attacks, Ukraine is responding in kind. Forbes reports, President Volodymyr Zelensky announced the first combat use of a new Ukrainian long-range weapon called Palyanitsia, which he called a missile drone. Zelensky said the new weapons would protect Ukraine by hitting Russian aircraft on the ground before they could take off to launch missiles. It's an approach called killing the archer, not the arrow. It has been widely promoted in Ukraine and has had some success. Satellite images show that a drone strike on August 22 on the Marinivka airbase destroyed or damaged several bombers. Palyanitsia is a Ukrainian dish, a type of bread, traditionally baked over a fire rather than in an oven. It symbolizes Ukrainian identity in the same way apple pie symbolizes America. It is also difficult for non-natives to pronounce correctly and was used as a test to identify Russian saboteurs in the early stages of the war. In the name, the developers emphasized that this is a 100% Ukrainian weapon of local production which, unlike the ATACMS, Storm Shadow and other missiles supplied by allies can hit targets inside Russia without restrictions and requests for permission. A video accompanying Zelensky's statement showed that Palyanitsia could reach more than 20 Russian airbases, meaning at least 600 kilometers. That's shorter than some of Ukraine's existing long-range drones, some of which can strike at more than 1,600 kilometers. Ukraine has a thriving defense sector of small companies that produce a surprising variety of attack drones, but Palyanitsia seems to be built for a specific niche. This has sparked various discussions about what constitutes a missile. Ukraine's Minister of Strategic Industries, Alexander Kamishin, told the Kyiv Post that the new weapon is both a drone and a missile. The problem is that there are no clear definitions. Many of Ukraine's long-range strikes have focused on oil and gas storage facilities and refineries. When attacking this type of target, a drone flying at 1,600 km an hour is as effective as a ballistic missile approaching at Mach 5. The target is stationary and cannot escape. Aircraft bases are different in that, despite some static features, such as fuel and ammunition storage, the aircraft themselves can be quickly redeployed when needed. One person was killed and 38 others were injured as two buses clashed in Kukuksekmes district in Turkey's Istanbul city. One of the passengers got seriously injured as the buses clashed between the Yenibosna Sefakoy stops. The passenger, whose identity has not been revealed, passed away in the hospital. The situation of two out of 38 injured persons is serious. Istanbul's mayor's office said in a statement that the incident occurred at around 9 in the morning in Kukuksekmes district. Immediately after the incident, several medical teams were brought to the region and the injured passengers were sent to surrounding hospitals. An investigation has been opened regarding the incident. Two bus drivers have been taken into custody.